Thank you very much. Uh, I think that it has been uh, two days of very uh, diverse and intensive uh, contributions. Uh, I think that Habitat 3 offers the opportunity uh, to, to provoke this uh, intensification of the conversation about uh, urbanization and cities and uh, that uh, we should take the, the, this advantage, this opportunity to, to, to try to qualify the, the conversation and try to share uh, ideas and concepts. Uh, I, I've seen in the last table especially a, a lot of uh, expectatives about uh, the text of the of the uh, Habitat 3 uh, resolution. And uh, you, I think that uh, uh, um, Peñalosa has, uh, Enrique has said it very well. Uh, there's a consensus in the United Nations that the uh, urbanization policy is a national policy is not an international policy. It's not an international treaty about uh, how urbanization should be. Then uh, it's not compulsory, and it doesn't oblige to any member state. Then uh, that has uh, an inconvenience, of course, or that, that it's, it's just that, a declaration, but it has an advantage, and is that uh, in the UN, when things are compulsory or, or they became legislation, then the negotiation is to the last word. Eh? But when it's not of uh, oblige, uh, 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 you know, fo follow, following, uh, it allows for a little bit more of uh, liberty. Eh? Uh, that is uh, for, for all of you to, to, rec to, to, to be aware of that. Uh, the other question is that in the process of preparation of Habitat 3, there have been something like 15,000 people involved in the issue papers, policy papers, regional meetings, thematic meetings, and the uh, internet forum. Registered people in the official participation of the agenda are around 15,000 people which, uh, of course, is a very broad uh, uh, participation. And uh, out of that came the first draft of the zero draft. But the, the zero draft uh, has been already submitted to the Bureau of the PrepCom of Habitat 3. That means to the representative of the member states. And now, the text is only on the hands of the member states. Okay? Then uh, further contributions or changes or improvements, which I am sure that they are needed in many sense, should be done through your member states. Uh, it's just for you to know. Okay? Uh, uh, it, it, uh, then, in that sense, the declaration for me is important, but it's not the most important outcome of uh, Habitat 3. For me, the most, for me, the most uh, important outcome of Habitat 3 is the conversation that is taking place. And if we are collectively, the, the community of people who, that we are interested in that, if we are uh, able to change a little bit the paradigm of urbanization in order to help whoever is there to do a little better urbanization. I, 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 am, I, I was very uh, impressed by the last question that came from the public. Uh, the young architect uh, working in, I think she said, in Vietnam, she asked, well, uh, I am paid for the developer, and uh, although I would like to do a little bit better urbanism or, 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 or you know, uh, 
city growing, the, the developer is paying me and then we need to do houses. Then uh, the clients also they want houses. Then who, who is going to say that this is not the convenient thing? And this question has been unanswered. Who is, yesterday I talked about who does what in urbanization. And in this who does what, uh, there's still a lot that we need to uh, advance. And that has to do with something that it has been touched very well, and it's the incompleteness of uh, the governance systems of local authorities, it has to, and, and urbanization in general, it has to do with the democratic deficits, it has to do with, uh, mm, uh, I, I, my impression, in, in, at least in the developing world, is that we have too much architecture and we don't have enough urbanism. That, that we don't have problem in the developing world of having good architects to build buildings and even to do projects. I have seen in the, in the approach of, of uh, a little bit yes, uh, today this uh, idea that we are going to address the urban issues through uh, projects, urban projects. And I think that urban projects is not, if you have uh, listened well to uh, Madame Musisi or to the Mayor Peñalosa, uh, they have not talked about architecture in any sense. In any sense. Their problems, they are not in architecture. The problems that they have expressed, they are of very different order then I think that we need to find out uh, the, the dialogue between urbanism and politics, because at the end, urbanization is about politics. Oh, you know, the ants and the termites and all that, they do their, uh, 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 you know, their habitat by instinct. But we do our cities by politics not by instinct. And then, uh, you know, and the scale of, of our, the size of our cities are becoming uh, so big that its governance is becoming very complex, very difficult. Yes, I am finishing. But let me just say the, this uh, Idea. I think that what, what we are, uh, the deficit, the biggest deficit that we are uh, finding now in urbanization, in this rapid process of urbanization worldwide, is innovative proposals to increase uh, uh, democratic, participatory forms of governance that can provide the kind of city that the citizens deserve. And, 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 uh, uh, and, and that includes, in this uh, work that is needed, needed in that direction, that includes the spatial layout, because the spatial layout is very important, not just uh, 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 for environmental reasons, which is very obvious that it's very important, but also for economic reasons, for social reasons, etc. President uh, uh, Renzi, when we were opening the, the, the Biennale uh, just a couple of months ago, he, in his speech, he, he just referred that he came from the G20, and in the morning of the G20, um, they spent, the G20, um, head of, the head of state of the G20, they spent two and a half hours talking about urbanization worldwide urbanization. And this is because urbanization has become a strategic issue related with development, of course, but also peace. Look at the Arab Spring, 
uh, even terrorism, migrations, the planetary uh, transformation that is taking place through urbanization, it's becoming a strategic issue at the level of global governance. And the tools that the member states, the governments, are addressing the, the, the urbanization are very weak. And I think that uh, Habitat 3, hopefully, with the contribution of uh, all the ideas that uh, are here, should have the, the opportunity, at least this is what we are thinking, of uh, uh, arising this question and trying to respond at least at, in some manner to the who should do what in relation to urbanization. Thank you very much.